Good night, Munich. Well, brother Toes, sister Gloria, I know there's a rumor going around saying that the other side taking all seats in St. Andrews. Tell them they're joking. They like to give good jokes. All that is happening is they want to distract you. Come the 23rd for you not to vote or to vote for them. But they were making, that is a joke. We are going for the four seats in St. Andrews this time around. The last time we won three in 2008. And the ground is very fertile now. We want to make sure that on the 23rd, the morning of the 23rd, go early. Because let me tell you a trick that was used. By 12 o'clock, NMP starts jumping up and beating drums and saying that they win already. So that means that people coming 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock from walking town or wherever they were, they just say, well, they win already, so I'd rather go and vote. But let me tell you something. Don't let that happen again. This time around, go early and put the X by the heart. Vote for Brother Toes. And I give him my fully support. We need the fullest support from Munich. You have done it before. I'm glad for the support you have given me in 2008 when I ran in this area. I was listening to the chairman. And he said, he give you a repertoire of the history of Munich. But he missed one point. And that is, the village of Munich, Munich, the people here, when that village started, were never slaves. They were never slaves. When that bell rang in, 20, in 1838 in Old Church for the freedom of slaves in Grenada, there was a crew, there was a ship outside bringing in slaves. They had to free them. And they sent them in three areas, Munich, River Sally and Grand Roy. That's why you find that there are cassava in Munich and in River Sally. That is a bit of history that they miss. But let me tell you, apart from history and the proudness of people in the Munich area, I want you to give Brother Toes the fullest support. And those of you who have relatives on the other side, Northwest St. Andrews, I want to, you to call your people. Say to them that support brother, Sister Gloria Thomas on election day. Sister Gloria Thomas, take a bow. Because I want the families in Munich that have relatives in the other side of, the, of, of, of St. Andrews, in Northwest St. Andrews, to encourage your people to support brother, Sister Gloria Thomas. So tonight, as we on this journey, a very important journey, a transformational journey for Grenada, Karakou, and Piti Matnik, and all that depends on you that you get up on the morning of the 23rd and go very early and put the vote by the heart for our brother Toes and your family on the other side for Sister Gloria. I want to thank you, and I appreciate what you have done in 2008, and I want you to repeat it again, and make sure that we win all three polling divisions in this area. Thank you very much, and have a good night. Right, thank you very much, Brother Qualis. Qualis. We thank you for your support in the past. You have now passed on the battle to Lennox Andrew, Brother Toes, we hope we can bring home the bacon. As I said, we want more from Munich, so we want somebody new to represent us. We want fresh blood, right? We need youths, we need fresh blood, new ideas, different ideas. Some guys are burned out, you know, when you're running a race and you can't go again, you're burned. That will happen to the representative. She's at burned out now, so we want fresh blood. We want a fresh person to take on the battle. Yeah, brothers and sisters, 
Um, Munich, you know, as you know, is um, one of the places that produce a lot of cricketers. And uh, our playing field out there, you know, it's nice. Up to now, we don't have a pavilion. We don't have some place where the ladies can go and, um, you know, lose themselves. The men could do it anyway, but not the ladies. As you know, Munich is quite keen on cricket. Well, for me, I'm a, I'm a cricket addict. I'm addicted to cricket. I played cricket for 36 years. And today, the sport is dying in Munich. Our children are, are not playing cricket in the primary schools again. That's where we used to get our cricketers from, from the primary school. Today, this is no longer. Now, Munich, used to, at one time, used to have three teams, three cricket teams. And just recently, or in 2018, Munich won the same on this competition. They won $10,000. Last year, there was a competition in, Mac, in Mamakian. They won it again. This year, there was one in Union, and it's, it's currently, or it started, it ended last year. And you know, Munich went and played with nine players. Only nine players. And we lost. Munich lost. Now, this hurt me a lot. Because our cricketers are not coming from the primary school again. The skills, the woodwork, and the home economics, they are, not, they are no longer in the primary school. I have spoken to the political leader, and I told him we want this to come back. Because that was my baby in school. Woodwork, and sports, and physical education. I produce, I can boast of that, many cricketers, national cricketers, on the 19, on the 15, senior, right? Carpenters, masons, architects, plumbers, and the list can go on and on. Today, if you want somebody to fix a fridge for you, you will see a lot of trouble. You have to go out of the parish to get that. No more skills men in the area. And the few that are there now, when they die out, it will be something else. So we need more skills in the area. Now, I want to introduce to to you, a lady. Now, a few weeks ago, oh, hey, I would, let's welcome the political leader, please. Welcome the political leader. He's a Munich man. A Munich man. Welcome him, please. Welcome you, political leader. He's a son of the soil. That's where he had it. That's where he went to school. He went to school in. He started school in Munich. His father is from Munich, and we want to welcome him with warm and wide arms. Welcome, political leader. And to thank you very much for coming out in your numbers. A few days ago, I spent some time walking through Munich. And I realized that Munich is a special place. It is a place where two hills converge. The Bacolet Hill and the Montcomet Hill converge on Munich and create Munich. So Munich is in itself a hill. And being a hill means that the people of Munich always aspire and always reach higher heights. That your goal is always to do good and be good and to achieve at the highest level. And therefore it is no no, not by chance that your own Peter Thomas would have produced an outstanding son like Dickon Mitchell who spent his early years, his early formative years right here in Munich and who is going to be our next Prime Minister of this country. Let's give him a round of applause. Being on a hill also demonstrates and manifests the fact that you would have produced outstanding sons and daughters of this country. And our dear brother, our brother Urban, 
would have indicated to you that in all walks of life, in all areas of profession, we have in Munich someone, but someone of the high standard. And what this means is that in Munich, there is great potential that the people in Munich are talented, that they are capable, and that all what they need is the opportunity for them to exercise and to develop that talent, that ability that they have in them. And therefore our job in the National Democratic Congress is to provide every single human being in Munich with the opportunity to develop and enhance and transform his or her natural talent, his or her ability, his or her passion, and use that passion to produce a good or a service that can be sold and earn an income and therefore live a decent life. So I want to say to you, the people of Munich, let no one, let no one tell you that you have gotten enough. Let no one define your future for you. Let no one put limits to your ability and your capability. Because there is no limit to what you can do as a people when the opportunity becomes available to you. I want to say to you, the people of Munich, that you are ta talented. You are talented. And that you have industry and pride. You have industry in the goods and services that you produce. You are the only place in the world where cassava, manioc, is produced in the manner and with the quality that you do. That is typical of you. That is your industry. And therefore, it is that industry that makes you a proud people. Wherever you go, you can speak not only of your great achievers, but you can also speak of your manioc and your cassava industry. And that is your pride. And every people must have industry, and every people must have a pride. I want to say to you that as I move around Munich, and as I talk to the people, I get a clear sense that the people of Munich is good people. You are good human beings. You want good for yourself. You want good for your family. You want good for your children. And you want good for your country. All you need is that opportunity to demonstrate that good. And therefore we in the NDC we are here to provide you with that opportunity so that you can exercise that good that lives within you, good human beings. And therefore, I want to tell you of some of the plans that we have in mind when we take office to transform Munich and to continue to make Munich 
industrious, and the people of Munich very proud to be who they are. And our first message, our first message is for the young people in Munich. Moving around, we can see that Munich is filled with many young people, talented, capable, many of them well-educated, university degrees, many of them very skillful, not just in sport, but they can use their hands and their fingers very well. And therefore, one of the very first things that we will do is that we are going to expose our young people to all aspects of the creative industry. We're going to make the opportunity available for our young people to play music. Our young people must learn to write, to read, and to play music. All kind of music. The guitar, the piano, the violin, the trumpet, whatever the instrument is. You must be able to read, write, and play music. And more than that, you must be able to use your music to earn an income and live a decent life. Live a decent life. Because one of the things that we in the NDC believe is that we believe that people must have the individual freedom. People must have the individual freedom. And use that freedom to produce a good or a service and contribute to the economy and contribute to the improvement of their lives. So music is one of the things that we will teach you and prepare you for. Our young people, we will teach you how to design, how to design anything, how to design clothes, how to design shoes, how to design pants, whatever it is. The design industry is a huge industry in the world. It's an industry that makes plenty of money. It's an industry that provides great employment for young people. All we have to do is to put you before a computer and teach you how to make use of the computerized program and use that computerized program and create graphic designs so you can be a major designer for any of the main stars or the big stars we have in the world or for any of the big companies that are in the world. Yeah? So we're going to teach you that aspect of the creative industry. We are going to teach you at some craft how to take clay and make clay pots and clay plates and clay mugs. And those things have a great demand. Those things have high price. The market for them is big. You can make real money out of these things and live a decent life. And that's another area where we will train you, our young people. We are going to expose you. We're going to expose you to the arts and to the crafts and to the performing arts and to the visual arts. You must know to dance. How to do ballet dancing. How to dance on your toes as young people. You must know how to paint, how to draw. You should be able to look at me 
and do a painting of me 15, 20 years from now. And I will look just like that. These are all talents. These are areas where our young people can get involved in to make a decent living. And there are many other areas. As I walk around Munich, my dear people, I observe that there are many, many wastelands in bamboo. The lands are all there, not being utilized. And Munich is a very agricultural place. So we have to find a way to utilize those lands. So what we will do is that we are going to enter into some kind of arrangement with the owners. Some form of lease arrangement and allow you to utilize those lands and to produce your agricultural produce. As I walk around Monique, I see that quite a lot of your fruits and vegetables are going to waste. Your mango is wasted. I want to say to you that in our effort as a party, to generate employment and to create jobs, we are going to expose you and prepare you to make use of the cottage industry. We're going to show you how to take the mango and process it and make a final product. Put it in a nice plastic bag with a label on it, with your name, and the words made in Grenada. And that product can be made from your very home, so you can stay home, take the mango, pass it, to, pass it through two or three pieces of equipment, yeah, and end up with a final product of quality that can be sold in supermarkets, that can be sold in hotels, that can be sold in our schools, and that can bring you a nice, decent income from your home. So our mango, our guava, our tambran, our cocoa, all these products that go to waste, we can utilize them and create meaningful employment right in our home and live a decent life. But more than that, we are going to provide you with a concession so you could bring in these equipment cheaply. And also, we are going to help you to find markets for those products. Help you to find markets for those products. And one of the actions we're going to take is that we are going to upgrade our embassies abroad. Have what you can call an economic attache at our embassies. And that person's role would be to find markets for the products that we produce in Grenada. So you can go to a major supermarket chain in London. You can go to Harrods in London. And on the supermarket shelf, you will see a product, mango jam, mango jelly, whatever the product, made in Grenada. That is industry. That is pride. That is employment. That is individual freedom. That is economic freedom. So we're going to expose you to our to the cottage industry as a means of generating employment and bringing a decent life to you. My friends, these are some of the ideas that we have for you in Munich. There are only a few of them. There are many more. And therefore, I want to say to you that as you go out to vote on election day, 
Think about your future. Think about your life. Think about what you are going through right now. Think about your children and your children to come. And ask yourself, what kind of future do you want to have? Do you want your children to have 10, 15 years down the road? We in the NDC, ladies and gentlemen, we promise you transformation. We promise you development. We promise you a new way of life. We promise you a new way of doing business. We promise you prosperity, growth, and we promise you a society that is clean, that is divine, and that is pure. We promise you a Munich which is like a big school where the opportunities are available to all to become what they want to become. So we ask you to bear this in mind. We promise you a young, vibrant, talented, committed patriot who is prepared to give his life for a cause that is just and dignified and who is prepared to work hard to ensure that our people live a better life. We promise you economic independence and we promise you richness. And therefore, as you go out to vote in the coming weeks, I ask you to vote for our sister, Gloria Thomas. I ask you to go for, to vote for our brother David Andrew. I ask you, Vincent Andrew, to vote for our sister Tessa, Tessa Sinclair. Sincere. And I also kindly ask you to vote for me. Because in me, you will find the values of hard work the values of honesty and I promise you dedication I promise you that we would not pay salary late we would not pay salary late in fact our intention is to pay salaries twice per month twice per month I promise you we will tell you no lie. We will speak the truth. And we will always speak the truth to you. Because we are honest. And we are clean. And we are divine. And we are pure. And we love our people. And we want to see our people live a much better life. So thank you all very much. Thank you all very much indeed. Yes, thank you very much, Toes. Thank you very much. Mom, you forgot to talk about the development of the cricket ground. As you know, that's my baby. And we want a better cricket ground in Munich. Up to now, we don't have a pavilion in the school. We used to shelter under the school, but the school is now broken down. So we are in the rain, in the sun. So we want a cricket. We want the development of our cricket ground in Munich. We're going to talk about that later. I'll be, I'll be on your back, I'll be riding your back for that, because that's my baby. That's what we produce in Munich. Munich is known for its cricket, farine, and trade, right? I'm proud of my farine, you know? If you check, farine is sold in the supermarkets, and I feel proud and happy when I see many people they mark on the label in the, in the supermarket. Munich farine, Tivisa Abraham, and you know, I don't call it names because I'm not finished. You know? So we are proud of our farine and we don't 
We're not ashamed of a foreign. In fact, when we, whenever we go to play cricket and we beat, start beating them guys, you know what they'll say? Who? Oh, them boys that are foreign in many boys that are foreign. So the foreign they get it in the skin, you know? So we are proud of our foreign. Alimo, where are you, sir? Right. No, we, I said we are Calypsonian in our midst. All right? Uh, former Tucker Kai, so champion. He also made it to the semifinals. So he's going to give you one of his tracks. He's going to play one of his um, songs for you. He's going to sing it for you. So we have culture at the moment. Okay? Alimo, one of our culture artists. Our culture artists. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mason. Here am I again. I'm just here to sing one song for you. And I know you all know that song. You might remember that. Whether we live in country or live in town, I sure you will be familiar with this song. Sing it. Woo-hoo! You know my dove? Oh, I love that dove. Not just any dog, but this is the Grenada dog. I really love, I really love, I really love. Yes, the Grenada dog. All the children say that they love. Hey, the Grenada dog. And tell the people them that you love. Handbook, I want to hear you say. People, it's so good, it's so mighty, it's so wonderful. Just a little taste of the dog. Yes, yes, that's the Grenada dog. That was a big hit, a big hit some time ago on the radio. The Grenada dog. Alright? He didn't give you a um, piece of um, bushfire. You didn't get bushfire. You got the Grenada dog. Yes, so ladies and gentlemen, the chump card is about to be played. We are about to play the chump card. Yes, you know, in all fours, this guy could do anything, you know, so the chump card is about to be played. I'm going to bring to you, this man was born in St. Davis, I guess, you know. He spent some time in Munich. In fact, I was told that he went to school, he started school in, in the dancing hall down there. Mr. Camaro dancing hall. That way he started school. And at the age of six, the mother took him back to St. Davis. That's when his father went to England. In fact, Talking about that, I went down by his father sometimes. You know, we are good friends. Many father are good friends. And he was, I showed him some of my albums, some of the, my exploits in cricket, you know. And then he started, he went out for his and he started showing me. And I, he showed me Deacon when he was a little boy. And I kicked on that, you know. I saw him in his father's album, you know. We kicked, we laughed over that, you know. So, we are now going to call on the next Prime Minister of Grenada. The next Prime Minister of Grenada, Carrie, who up with the magnet to address you, Deacon Mitchell. Deacon Mitchell. Bring him come. Good night, Munich. How are you doing? Good night. Good night. Good night. You're tired or you have the energy? You have the energy? Well, let me hear you say, let's move Grenada. Let's move Grenada. Let's move Munich. Good. It's a pleasure to be here. I just came from a five, six hour motorcade in St. David and a meeting. And you can tell I'm not tired. So if we have to run 24 hours a day every day until the 23rd of June to make sure that we begin the change movement in Grenada, I want to make sure that when I'm running, you're running behind me and you're moving Grenada. You're moving Munich. I'm here for one reason. Another reason is to ask you to ask your relatives, your family, your friends, your villagers, your co workers, your fellow churchgoers on the 23rd of June. Make no mistake, join the polling lines early. Be there when the polls open and make sure that you put the X alongside. Our brother, friend, patriot, long-serving public servant who is still prepared to serve the people of Munich and the people of St. Andrew's Southwest, Brother Lennox, 
Andrews. Good. So we want it tonight, and we want you to keep it until the 2010. So I want us to appreciate this. They are calling this the mother of all elections. They might have to call it the Mitchells of all elections. But my job as a Mitchell is to redeem the name Mitchell. So I want to make sure that on the 24th of June, we have a Mitchell that Grenadians are proud of. We have a Mitchell that smiles and doesn't scowl at you. You have a Mitchell that is prepared to walk anywhere, anytime with no security because I'm not afraid of my own people. I'm not afraid of Grenadians. I ain't doing anything that requires security and I don't plan on the 24th to need any security. The security is the people. If you come from the people, if you are for the people, then you have no doubt to secure, no reason to secure yourself from the people. So, I want you to understand that we are about building Grenada. Sister Gloria, Sister Lennox, Brother Lennox, sorry, Brother Paulo, when he did it, and the National Democratic Congress team. That is a team, and I want to make that point. Team. It is a team that is prepared to work for you. It is a team that has discussions. It is a team that debates. It is a team that asks what is the best decision, what are the best policies to put forward for you. And while I lead that team, we need the team to do it. We are not about one manism. I'm not going to come to St. Andrews Southwest and tell you, fuck it, brother toes, but vote for me. I'm going to come here and tell you, vote for brother toes because I have the confidence in brother toes, brother toes has the confidence in me, and that is how teamwork works. And if we want to build Grenada, we need to extend that team to include all of us in our villages and in our communities. And as I said in Windsor Forest, an hour and a half ago, I'm going to say it in Munich. The National Democratic Congress will ensure that when we form the government, we put in place legislation that makes sure the parliamentarians come back on a quarterly basis and report to you, the people, on what they have done since you have elected them into office. We are going to make sure that they come in Munich Junction and they stand, talk to you, take questions from you, and discuss the issues from you. That is how we will hold our parliamentarians and our politicians accountable. So we are not afraid of the people. We are not afraid of saying this because we recognize that if we are to lead and if we are to bring the change to the politics and to the economy and to our country, we must first be prepared to subject ourselves to the same rules that we want others to be subjected to. So I can assure you that when we form the government, we intend to strengthen people's democracy. We intend to strengthen village democracy. We intend to strengthen community democracy. And we intend to be held accountable by you because that is the only way we can really truly change and transform our villages. So this is not mamagism. You know who I am. You know who my father is. You know where I was born. You know where I grew up. And I have no intention of running or hiding behind security and behind police officers. We work for you, we are committed to you. And so we are asking you on the 23rd of June, we are asking you on the 23rd of June, it is something that you and you alone can uniquely do. The destination of St. Andrew's Southwest, the future of St. Andrew's Southwest is in your hands the hands of your friends, the hands of your families, the hands of your relatives, your co-workers, your church goers. And we have to recognize that if we believe Grenada is all it can be, if we are happy with the state of Grenada, if you do not believe 
that Grenada has hardworking young men and women who deserve a chance, who deserve opportunity, who deserve a government that encourages them to dream big, that encourages them to grow and change their lives, then the choice will be easy and you will continue with more of the same. But I've walked the length and breadth of Grenada. They even say I'm looking smaller than I look on the picture. Well, that's because I've been walking for six months straight. And I'm satisfied, having walked the length and breadth of Grenada, that the people of Grenada want better, the people of Grenada deserve better, and the people of Grenada expect better from their politicians and their leaders. And therefore, the National Democratic Congress is pledging to you. And I did this public pledge to the people in St. John last Wednesday. And I'm going to repeat it. I'm pledging to you, the residents of Munich, to you, the residents of the Southwest, that come the 24th of June, it will not be business as usual. It will not be mamagism as usual. It will not be one-manism as usual. But it will be teamwork, people first, the villages first, the community first, Grenada first. And so our decision making will be motivated by the need to ensure that we speak to the people, that we hear from them, and that we take the best decisions that meet the people's needs. And so when we say we are paying the pensions, we are paying the pensions because the pension belongs to the people. You want a rich government and poor people? You want a rich government and poor people? Or you want rich people? Do you want retirees who are poor and can't buy food? No. Or you want retirees who can buy their food and who can walk the street with dignity knowing that they've worked hard and they deserve their pension? Do you want to run to fast cash by the 15th of the month and beg for an advance loan? Or do you want your employer to pay the salary by the 15th of the month? So when we say we will pay salaries by monthly, we didn't dream that up. It is because we listen to the people. We listened to employers. We listened to employees. We heard their plight. And so we felt that we needed to put forward solutions that would place less of our people in debt, less of our people living beyond their means, and more of our people being able to manage their cash flow, more of our people being able to pay their bills when they fall due. When we say we will increase the minimum wage, we didn't dream that up. It is because throughout the length and breadth of Grenada, we know that there are people working for six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars and they cannot live on that. We know that. Our people deserve better. That's wages from 1980s. We're in 2022. We're in the first 21st century. And our people deserve to earn a living wage. So when we champion that we will increase the minimum wage, we are saying so because all Grenadians especially those of us who are less fortunate and poor, deserve a higher standard of living. And you cannot do so with a rising cost of living and a minimum wage that hasn't changed in over 10 years. So when we say we will help to reduce the cost of living, maybe they don't know what's going on in the world, but we know. We know that since COVID-19, the cost of freight has gone up by almost 300% which means that the price of your goods are going up perhaps by a similar percentage. So when we say the government is collecting freight taxes on the increase in the cost of transportation, which has nothing to do with the actual cost of the goods and charging you customs duties and VAT on that, and we say we will cap the customs duties and VAT at pre-COVID-19 levels, the government has made a, made a windfall, millions of dollars in taxes, simply because the cost of transporting goods to Grenada from wherever we're importing them from have gone up. But even with that windfall, what is our government doing for persons to alleviate the cost of living? We have said we will zero rate VAT on certain items, like pampers, like toiletries. They still have not responded. So it tells you they do not care about the cost of living. They do not care the cost of living keeps rising. But we do, because we listen to the people, we speak to the people, and we are from the people. And so when we say we will reduce VAT on items like saltfish, cooking oil, pigtail, pig snout, maybe they don't eat that. 
Maybe they don't eat oil long, but we know you and we and the rest of Grenada like oil long. We know what goes in oil long. We know how many Grenadians use cooking oil. So when we say we will zero rate those items on that, because we know those are items that the average man and woman in Grenada uses. So we are a party about solutions. We are a party about solutions. And ones that are realistic and achievable because most of those solutions come from listening to the people. Most of those solutions and ideas come from having walked the length and breadth of Grenada. And that is the difference between them and us. We listen to the people, we note what they say, and sister, don't be surprised that the free barrel will come, come this December. But to make the free barrel come this December, you have to make sure that on the 23rd of June, you move Grenada, you move Grenada, good. And maybe, finally, they don't understand our traditions. They don't understand what worked for us in the past. They don't understand what made us strong. Maybe they've never had the farine from Munich. Maybe they've never had the cuckoo. So perhaps what they're interested in is hamburger, KFC, pizza hut. So they don't understand our traditions. They don't understand the things that work for us. So tell them, come the 24th of June, you make sure that on the 23rd of June, you put into power the national susu so that we can start our own savings we can start going back to the things that worked for all of us in the past so that on the 24th of june 2022 we can announce that the national democratic congress will start the national susu scheme to make sure that all our people can get the financing that we need to help us start our small businesses to help send our children to school and to help pay some of our retirees who have not yet been paid a pension. So remember, if it's Susu you want, Susu you will get. So see you all, make sure that on the 23rd of June, you go, you bring out the vote, you vote the National Democratic Congress, and for St. Andrews Southwest, you put the X next to Bruna Lennox Andrews. Thank you, Munich, it's been a pleasure. And remember, we are going to move Grenada. We are going to move Grenada. We are going to move Grenada. Thank you very much. Yes, let us hear it for the next Prime Minister of Grenada, Kariku and Pete Matnik. Put your hands together for him. Pepper Hill, well done guys in Pepper Hill. And I've seen you, and I've seen you. Those in Tehuk, Monica Ho, Bamboo, Behind the Coco, Tilleries. We are all here. We are all here. And remember, on election day, guys, we are going and vote right up in the new school. Right up in the new school, we're, we're voting. All right? Transportation will be made available for you. Transportation will be coming. Let's come out early and vote. We're going up in the new school. The lady said that we have gotten enough. Okay? We know the school was not built by the government. They, had, they aided in that, so they can boast of it. Now, what's up? We got a new dam. Yes, thank God. We're getting clean water now. We are happy for it. BNT sponsored that. So, to say we got enough. So, let us say so thank you very much for what you have done. And we're going to move forward with Bertha Lennox Andrews to continue the progress. Okay? Lennox Andrews is going to continue with the progress. So, Munich, it was nice having you. Sorry for the mishap. Maybe the DJ wasn't expecting such a big crowd, you know? So you you underestimated us. You underestimated us. You come with a little, little thing, you know? But when you say the crowd, you have to go for re reinforcement. Okay? So thank you very much. On behalf of the Munich, people of Munich, Tehuk, Bamboo, Tilleries, Monica Ho, we say thank you for all of you for being here. Thank you, and please come again. Just remember, on the 24th, we are moving forward. I say, this is the first time I'm wearing a jersey, and in this jersey, that surprised you. Yeah, first time I'm wearing that. And I said, I was a teacher, I was a teacher, and plus I was a PO, so I could not have wear the jersey. But this year, 
I decide now I've retired. I'm, I'm quite re I'm happily retired. Yes, I'm getting my pension already. And I decide that I'm going to help my people to get theirs. Those who are not getting theirs, I'm going to campaign for them. That's why I got, I'm on the ground, I'm on the trees, I'm in the air, I'm everywhere campaigning for the people of Grenada, Cariku, and Pitimatnik. So one love, see you next time.